Hey guys, welcome to another video. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick look at uh, document scanning in iOS 11. Uh, so this is just to show how to uh, scan a document using the, the Notes app. Now if you have your notes synced with another service other than iCloud, uh, you won't be able to use this feature, but if you are using iCloud for your notes, you just simply go to the notes, uh, go to your notes, and you want to make sure you go to iCloud, and then you'll go into your notes here and then just create a new one. So hit, uh, hit the new tab at the bottom there, and then to get to the document scanner, you just hit the action button on the top right here next to the done button. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe I got that wrong. Okay, you hit the plus button in the center there, and you have a couple options there. So you've got scan documents, take photo or video, photo library, add sketch. So in this case, we're gonna scan a document. Okay, so now we've got the document here, and this is just a sample lease because I just wanted to see how this would come out here. So I'll just put my camera above here, give it a second to focus. And as you can see, it already did it. It took it for me. I didn't actually have to press the uh, shutter. You can press the shutter if you want to, uh, but you don't have to. All right, so in this case, we'll just save it. And here it is. So you can actually go in and edit it, <clears throat> edit this so you can have it in color. Now, if you want to zoom in on this so you can see, so I'll zoom in here and you can see the clarity of it here. And this is in color. This is in grayscale, black and white, and as a photo. So in this case, I think color looks the best. Um, it's not too dark, but it's not too light either. Uh, grayscale kind of lightens it a little bit too much. Uh, so some of the words are a little harder to read. Black and white kind of overdoes it. Uh, as far as I can see, it kind of looks too dark and then it looks like a lower resolution because of how, um, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good to me. Um, you, you be the judge on that. So here's color again. Now another cool thing here is you can mark this up. So, um, so in addition to changing the, uh, changing from color, bl uh, grayscale, black and white in photo, you can actually rotate the document. If you wanted to do that, you can actually crop it also. So this is kind of cool here. It actually brought up the picture that it took. And so if I just want to crop to that line here that I got, you can make it more exact. Not sure if that would totally help it, but we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here I'm done doing doing the cropping there. And it, it, it looks about the same. So um, in addition to scanning, you can actually mark it up also. Oops. So we're going to, let's see. Okay, so here, here are your other options here. So when you click that, when you hit the action button there, you're given a couple of different options. So you can send it in a message, mail, copy to Dropbox, copy to, now these are apps that I have installed, so you may have more options when you, um, when you do this on your phone here. You can also copy, print, create PDF, markup, um, as well as save to your files. So in this case, we'll mark it up. And then so if you see something that you wanna change here, you can go in if you wanted to and take your pencil and say we just wanna cross something out cross that out and say you want to uh, like say you wanted to initial the document you could do that so just put my initials there and it looks like a pencil so it's kind of cool um, the cool thing here is now you can uh, send it just